Welcome to my mathematics class. In our lesson today, we are going to look at uh, geometric sequence, a topic in form three, mathematics. In our last uh, lesson, we looked at the nth term of an arithmetic progression. We got a formula for working out whichever term we, we, we are required to work out. So we would like now to obtain a formula for getting the nth term, but this time not of AP, but for GP, geometric progression, or what we sometimes call the geometric sequence. After getting the formula, we will use that formula in an example um, where we'll be given a geometric progression and we'll be required to work out uh, a certain term. So let's take a simple sequence, a GP sequence. For instance, this one. Looking at this uh, sequence, we can see there is some kind of a pattern. We are moving from three, then we are going to six, then we are going to 12, and then to 24. And the sequence continues like that. We can call this one the first term, or term number one. This is term number two. This is term number three and so on, this is term number four. When we are working out uh, the formula for the arithmetic progression, we said we can refer to the first term as A. We always take A to, re to represent the first term. So even in this case, we can say our first term is A. Now, unlike in the case of the AP, here we do not have a common difference. For example, if we take 6 and we subtract 3, we get 3. But when we now go to 12 and uh, subtract 6, we don't get 3. Even when you go to 24 and subtract, we don't get a common difference. What is unique now about a GP is that if we take the second term and we divide by the first term, we are getting the same as when we divide the third term by the second. And so on. If we take the fourth term, we divide by the third. What we are getting, and we can confirm now, is a constant ratio. Uh, so the first term in our case here is 3. The second term, uh, we do not have a particular letter to stand for that, but we are going to see now in our formula, we'll be using A as the first term. Now, let's get now the constant ratio. Uh, we normally use a small letter R, and we get that by either dividing the second term by the first, the third term, by the second, the fourth term, by the third. So we can actually say the constant ratio is the second term divided by the first. That will give us the constant ratio. It can also be gotten from the third divided by the second, the fourth divided by the third, and so on. In our case here, the constant ratio becomes 6 divided by 3, or 12 divided by 6, or 24 divided by 12. So you can have 6 over 3, which is the same as 12 over 6, which is the same as 24 divided by 12, and so on. Depending on the terms that uh, we have, we can pick the fifth divided by the fourth, like that. 
So you can see there is a slight difference between um, an arithmetic progression and a geometric progression. In the arithmetic progression, we would always get the difference, common difference. There was a common difference between the second and the first, which was equal to um, the same as 20, uh, the, the, the third and the second. You are getting by subtracting. Here, you can even look at it in another way. To get the second term from the first, we are doubling. So you double three, you get six. You double six, you get 12. You double 12, you get 24. And therefore, we can easily get the fifth term here. It is going to be 48. And so on, 96, like that. So we want to look at the terms in a certain order and see what is happening. So let's take term number one. We are getting that it is three. We get term number two. If you look at it, you'll see it is three times two. If we go to term number three, 12. It is again 3 times 2 times 2. So this one is coming back to 3, this one is coming to 6, this one is coming to 12. And we can look at term number 4 and see what happens also. Term number 4 is 24. You look at it and you see it is 3 multiplied by 8. And 8 is actually 2 times 2 times 2, which will give us uh, 24. But you can see where the 2 came from. 2 came from dividing 6 by 3, 12 by 6, 24 by 12, 48 by 24. That is the 2, this one. In other words, 2 is the constant ratio. Two is the constant ratio. And therefore we can write these ones in terms of the constant ratio. Look at the, this first one. We can write it as term number one is equal to this one. This is the first term multiplied by something. Maybe we can even say here two raised to power zero because we know two raised to power zero is one. Then we can come down here and see what, happen, what is happening. This is 3 times 2 raised to power 1. The next one is 3 times 2 squared. The next one is 3 times 2 power 3. We can even guess what the next term will be. Term number 5. We, we can get it from here. It is 3. This time, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And I think this will be 48. So let's look at that again. Term number 1 is 3 times 2 raised to power 0. Term number 2, 3, 2 times 2 times 2 raised to power 1. Term number 3, 3 times 2. 2 squared. Term number 4. 3 times 2 cubed. I think that's what we are saying here. 2 raised to power 0, because that's just 1. 2 raised to power 1. 2 squared. 2 cubed. Huh? We can get term number 5. 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 4. You can go on like that. And maybe you can, we can get term, term number 10. From this kind of argument, we see the power to which we raise the constant ratio is 1 less than the position. So term number 10 therefore becomes first term, then 2 raised to the power of 10 minus 1. That is 2 power 9. And we can generalize. We can say, whatever term it is, we can say 
it is the first term, then we have the constant ratio, and then n minus 1. And this is the formula for getting the nth term of a geometric sequence. Let's look at an example. I would like us to take an example on the terms that we already have here. Okay, the next term. This is term number five. We all know that the next term is going to be 96 because it will be 48 multiplied by two. Let's see whether we, we, we get it. Here we are being asked to find the, the sixth term. Find the sixth term of 3, 6, 12, which is a GP. So we apply our formula. Term number 6 is equal to A raised to 6 minus 1, that would be 5. And we know the first term is 3, so this is going to be 3. The constant ratio we know is 6 divided by 3, which is 2 raised to the power of 5. 2 raised to the power of 5, we know is that 2. That 2 times 3 is that uh, is um, 96. For your homework, obtain term number 9 for the same GP. See whether you'll be able to get the required value. We say term number nine because you can even continue. You double 48, you get the next one. Double 96, you get the next one. And you will be able to confirm whether the formula is working or not. And then, of course, you'll need to practice with questions from other sources, textbooks, and so on. So we want to stop there. Remember to subscribe and even share with other people who might need this information. And uh, you ring also the bell so that whenever a new video is available, you'll be notified. Otherwise, we are going to stop there. In the next uh, video, we are going to look at the sum, the sum of n terms of AP, the sum of n terms of GP. Otherwise, for now, we stop at that point.